To try and define spirituality is something almost impossible to do. Webster describes it as relating to, consisting of, or having the nature of spirit, something not tangible or material, of concerning with or affecting one's soul, having a relationship with a god or a deity, belonging to a church or religion, or anything that one individual may find sacred. What do you believe happens after someone dies? Uh, me personally, just how I was brought up, I believe that, like I said, you were, uh, like you believe in God and everything that you get to heaven. Yeah, we're so, that's personally how I believe. But. What does spirituality mean to you? Like, if you were to define it personally, what is spirituality? Uh, spirituality to me is basically like, like serving like yeah, yeah. one God and like one meaning. You know? What does spirituality mean to you? Um, <laughs> um, I guess just having faith and knowing what you believe in is true and that, like, uh, I don't really know, just, I don't know, I don't know how to answer this. I'm sorry. It's okay. Duality okay. to you. To me, it just means believing in something. It doesn't mean that you have to be like a Christian or a Catholic or a Baptist. It just means you believe in something, that there's more to what's out there. Uh, what do you believe happens after someone dies? Um, I believe they go somewhere else. Cause, I mean, we just can't stick around. I believe there is somewhere else. We just don't know where that is just yet. Do you believe in spirits? I do. Um, I actually have a story. When I was little, I had an imaginary friend, his name was Papa, and my mom actually asked me what he looked like one day, and I described my grandpa, my great-grandpa, to the team with his glasses and his mustache. That's awesome. Wow. <laughs> yeah, and I've never seen a picture of him. What is your personal belief, or no belief, of what happens after someone dies? I really have no answer for that. I have, I have no clue. Okay, so has someone in your life passed away? Someone yes. that you've known. Okay, what did you do to cope with it? What did you find like relief? How did you? Hanging out with family members. Family. Yeah. Okay. And your and I guess your family. How would they handle it? Just Same being with each other. Yeah. All right. What does spirituality mean to you? It means it comes from your heart and your soul what you believe in. What do you do for spiritual relief? Like, how do you manage your stress? I eat, and I sleep, and I smoke. Okay, do you do anything spiritually? Do you... No. I just talk to my friends and family. Okay. What do you believe happens once someone passes? Um, just depends on their beliefs. But to you personally, what do you what believe? Do you if they've been saved and they, then they're going to, hit to heaven. If they haven't, then they go to hell. What does spirituality mean to you? Spirituality is a way of life. Um, it is a way of life that was introduced to me almost 29 years ago. Um, when I uh, entered at the doors of Alcoholics Anonymous, I had to learn to live by spiritual principles if I was going to stay sober. How do you practice your spirituality? Um, I'm wicked. Uh, so, yes, uh, means I believe in the elements, the spirits, angels, gods, however you want to call them. And I work with nature and with the elements to live for a more positive life. What do you believe happens to someone after they die? I believe that several things could happen depending on how you, how you lived. Um, you could be reborn to learn new lessons in life. You may be made a guardian for somebody. Um, or you may get to join your ancestors. What does spirituality mean to you? Spirituality means uh, it's like what your passion is, what you believe in, what makes you go, what makes you get up in the morning. Uh, it's really what your core is. What do you do for spiritual relief? 
Uh, for me, it's my quiet time when I have in the morning, sometimes at night, just time where I can be by myself and really just read my Bible, listen to a worship music, anything like that. Christianity is currently the largest religion in the world. It has dominated Western culture for centuries and remains the major religion of Europe and the Americas. Christian belief centers on the life of Jesus of Nazareth. Christians believe Jesus rose from the dead three days after his burial and in so doing made it possible for those who believe to be forgiven of sin and attain eternal life. Much of Christian belief and practice centers on the resurrection of Christ. The sacred text of Christianity is the Bible, which consists of the Old Testament and New Testament. Christianity has divided into three major branches over the centuries, Roman Catholicism, Eastern Orthodoxy, and Protestantism. Christian practices vary by denomination, but common elements include the Sunday worship service, private and corporate prayer, study and reading of the scriptures, and participation in rites such as baptism and communion. What does spirituality mean to you? Uh, it's subjective to each person. To me it just means uh, my connection with the universe in a nutshell, I guess. Okay. What do you believe happens after someone dies? Personally, mm -hmm. I have no idea. Um, I like to believe that how we conduct ourselves uh, in this life uh, determines what path we take when we die. Um, I don't believe in the finality of heaven or hell. I think that everything's in flux and constant motion. And, um, personally, I think we're all evolving towards God. Some of us just slower than others. Do you believe in spirits? Sure I do. Sure I do. Um, some people are in low spirits sometimes. Some people are in high spirits sometimes, you know. There's, there's no difference between a person's attitude and the spirit that drives them at that time, in my eyes. So, yeah, of course. What do you do for spiritual relief? I meditate a lot, um, especially with the state our uh, society's in. I have to find myself meditating quite a bit. But uh, yeah, that brings me peace. It's like prayer for me. Buddhism is a religion indigenous to the Indian subcontinent that encompasses a variety of traditions, beliefs, and practices largely based on teachings attributed to Buddha, meaning the Awakened One. The Buddha lived and taught in the eastern part of the Indian subcontinent sometime between the 6th and 4th centuries BCE. He is recognized by Buddhists as an awakened or enlightened teacher who shared his insights to help sentient beings end their suffering through the elimination of ignorance by way of understanding and the seeing of dependent origination and the elimination of desire, and thus the attainment of the cessation of all suffering, known as the sublime state of nirvana. While Buddhism remains most popular within Asia and India, both branches are now found throughout the world. Buddhism is also recognized as one of the fastest growing religions in the world. What does spirituality mean to you? Um, means you have faith in God, like a higher power. <laughs> Uh, basically, that's what it means to me. What do you think happens after someone dies? I used to think they just stayed in the ground, but I feel like um, they watch over me. Like, because my grandpa, I feel like he's watching over me, so he's still there somewhere. Do you believe in spirits? Yes. I think I should answer that. They might come get me. <laughs> <laughs> Islam's belief in the six articles of belief. One, belief in God. Islam upholds strict monotheism and belief in God, which forms the heart of their faith. Islam teaches belief in one God who neither gives birth nor was born himself and has no share in his caretaking of the world. He alone gives life, causes death, brings good, causes affliction, and provides sustenance for his creation. 2. Belief in angels. Adherence to Islam must believe in the unseen world as mentioned in the Quran. From this world are the angels emissaries of God, each assigned with a specific task. They have no free will or ability to disobey. It is their very nature to be God's faithful servants. Angels are not to be taken as demigods or objects of praise or veneration. They are mere servants of God, obeying his every command. Number 3. 
belief in prophets and messengers. Islam is a universal and inclusive religion. Islam teaches God did not send prophets to Jews and Christians alone. Rather, he sent prophets to all nations in the world with one central message, worship God alone. Number four, belief in the sacred text. Muslims believe that God through his prophets sent down his books of humanity. Muslims believe that the prophet Muhammad received revelations from God through the angel Gabriel. 5. Belief in life after death. Muslims believe that a day will come when all of creation will perish and resurrected in order to be judged for their deeds, the day of judgment. On this day, all will gather in presence of God, and each individual will be questioned about their life in the world and how they lived it. Those who held correct beliefs about God and life and followed their belief with righteous deeds will enter paradise, even though they may pay for some of their sins in hell if God, out of his infinite justice chooses not to forgive them. As for those who fell into polytheism in its many faces, they will enter hellfire, never to leave therefrom. And number six, believe in the divine decree. Islam asserts that God has full power and knowledge of all things, and that nothing happens except by his will and with his full knowledge. The destiny of every creature is already known to God. They believe that they do not know what our destiny is, but God knows the fate of all things. What does spirituality mean to you? Spirituality means, to me, it would be like my drive, you know, kind of like it's my drive to get up in the morning, those days where I'm just, I don't want to get up, it's like, you know, like, I can do this even though I'm completely cranky, I can, I can do it. Judaism is the mother faith from which Christianity and Islam developed. All three date back to Abraham, who discovered the one true invisible God. At Mount Sinai, several centuries later, Moses and the Israelites received the Torah, which revealed the way God wished to be served. Judaism is based around the idea that God is supreme, the creator of all things, and the power for being whom we communicate with through prayer. The great book of Judaism is the Torah. The name Torah has become to stand for the teachings of Judaism as a whole. The main principles of the Jewish faith were formulated by Moses, which are, God created all things. There is only one God. God has no bodily form. God is eternal. We must pray only to God. All the words of the prophets are true. Moses was the greatest of the prophets. The Torah we have is the same that was given to Moses. The Torah will never be changed. God knows human deeds and thoughts. God rewards good and punishes evil. The Messiah will come to redeem Israel and the world. There will be a resurrection of the dead. Judaism contains duties to God, especially modes of worship and rituals, especially truth, justice, and peace. Marriage and the family are especially important to Judaism, as are education and charity. Observant Jews eat only kosher foods. Kosher means must come from a permitted animal or bird and be carefully slaughtered. The meat is soaked in water and then salted and rinsed in order to remove the blood. Jews pray three times a day. The official language of the Jewish prayer is Hebrew. The Sabbath is a day of rest from work lasting from sunset on Friday until nightfall on Saturday. Features of the day are the synagogue services and the family gathering at the home. The Sabbath candles are lit before sunset and the prayers of sanctification are set over wine and bread. Do you think it's important to uh, believe in God and be saved to go to heaven? I think it's just important to be a good person. Hinduism is the dominant religion of the Indian subcontinent. It includes a wide spectrum of laws and prescriptions of daily morality based on karma, dharma, and societal norms. Hinduism is a categorization of distinct intellectual or philosophical points of view, rather than a rigid, common set of beliefs. Hinduism consists of many diverse traditions and has no single founder. Hinduism is often called the oldest religion or oldest living religion in the world.
Hindu texts are classified into revealed and remembered. These texts discuss theology, philosophy, mythology, agamic rituals, and temple building, among other topics. Hinduism, with about 1 billion followers, is the world's third largest religion, after Christianity and Islam. Prominent themes in Hindu beliefs include, but are not restricted to, Dharma, which refers to ethics and duties, Samsara, the continuing cycle of birth, life, death, and rebirth, Karma, referring to action and subsequent reaction, Moksha, which is liberation from Samsara, and the various Yogas. Hinduism grants absolute and complete freedom of belief and worship. Hinduism conceives the whole world as a single family that deifies the one truth, and therefore it accepts all forms of beliefs and dismisses labels of distinct religions, which would imply a division of identity. What does spirituality mean to you? Spirituality means to me belief in something non-quantifiable. In other words, it's faith rather than uh, science existence. Okay. Now this could apply to religion, it could apply to belief in uh, some controlling force, if you don't wish to call it God, or anything else. Uh, you can have a spirituality of afterlife, spirituality of existence, all of these things. They're just something that you can't track down, measure, or define. Okay. What do you believe happens after someone dies? What do I believe? Well, that's kind of complicated because, quite frankly, I don't know. Uh, I would like to believe that the consciousness extends beyond uh, just the physical being. I'd like to believe that there is an existence after death. Now, the problem with that is that there's a, several very good arguments for it and several very good arguments against it. However, if you would hang around long enough, and I happen to experience this in a hundred and some odd years, I hope, I will return and give you an essay on it. <laughs> <laughs> or if I don't, I'm probably just busy exploring the universe. <laughs> All right. According to the American Atheist Organization, atheism is usually defined incorrectly as a belief system. Atheism is not a disbelief in gods or a denial of gods. It is a lack of belief in gods. Older dictionaries define atheism as a belief that there is no God. Atheism is not a belief system, nor is it a religion. While there are some religions that are atheistic, like certain sects of Buddhism, for example, that does not mean that atheism is a religion. The only common thread that ties all atheists together is a lack of belief in gods and supernatural beings. Atheists do not have a common belief system sacred scripture or atheist pope.